Love Talk Radio. Good morning and happy Friday. It is so wonderful to be here today. I'm an angel and welcome to Ignite Your Life Radio. I've heard from so many people since our last broadcast and I wanted to thank everybody for their wonderful feedback. I had such a great time on my first broadcast. Um, and today, my broadcast is about making your life happen. And not just making your life happen, but making your life happen today. We're going to talk about a couple of things um, that are important to focus on. We're going to go through some things that I've been talking about on my blog and talk about some exciting upcoming calls that I've added to the uh, Ignite Your Life uh, series to kind of help people focus on this topic of making your life happen today. And then if we have time, I plan to open up to some phone calls so I can answer people's questions and get some feedback on the air. So thank you again, once again, for listening. Today is the last Friday of this month. It's been a very powerful month, lots of exciting things happening, and some not so exciting things happening across the world. So as always, before we get started, I want everybody just to take a wonderful deep breath in and relax, and just release everything that you've got going on in your space that is not good or healthy for you, and just sit and receive wonderful warmth of abundance of love and supportive energy. I want to give thanks to the Divine for letting us be here to get today, sharing our time together. And thank the Divine once again the life and joy that he brings upon us every day. Wonderful, wonderful. Thank you again once again for coming today. So making your life happen today. One of the things I like to focus on when people ask me what kinds of tools are out there to help focus on making things come to life today, is to remind people that making wishes is a joy. Making wishes is what life is about. You should never be afraid to wish for what you want. But we've been taught that wishes are for children, and as adults, we should focus on reality. And then we often get these speeches about how harsh and how negative reality is. So I want us to focus today on taking a little step backward in our mind and remember what it was like to wish when we were young. What did you wish you were going to be when you grew up? Remember that question when we were children? What are you going to be when you grow up? When I was a little kid, I wanted to be an astronaut. Well, let me tell you, I never made it to the astronaut school, but I do feel like I'm a life astronaut because I feel like I'm powerful in this, this world and I, I touch the stars in my own way. Um, because I dreamed I was an astronaut and I'm not an astronaut does not mean that life is unfulfilling for me. There are other wishes out there that I can accomplish. So I wrote earlier this week a blog where I spoke about making your dream or making a wish come true by dropping a coin in a virtual fountain. So that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about making your wish and talk about some tools to make your wish into fulfillment and focus on, on what that means. Okay, so if you're able to, I want you to get out a piece of paper or a book or a journal, something to write with. I want you to do three things for me. The first thing you're going to do is place your pen on the paper and just write. I'm going to give you 30 seconds to just write about what you may wish you want to do. Just go ahead and write. It doesn't have to make sense. It doesn't have to have any reason to it. It doesn't have to have any structure. It doesn't have to have any bullet points. Keep writing. Just write what it is that you want to do. No matter how fanciful you feel it is, don't let your inner critic talk to you about how ridiculous a dream it is. Just wish it out on a piece of paper. Are you almost done? Just write it out. There you go. Great. So now you've written out this little wish, and you don't have to do this today. You can do it later on today or tomorrow if the timing is not convenient, if you're listening to this at your job or in a car or anything like that. Perfect. So now, the second thing I want you to do is I want you to look at what you just wrote and take your same pen or pencil, go back to what you wrote, and I want you to just circle those statements, words, sentences that stand out for you. So my imagination, you wrote out a, a simple paragraph perhaps, or maybe a collection of sentences drawn on the, on the page. So now go back and, and find the words that light you up. 
in terms of your your wish. You know, if this was a perfect world, what would it look like for you? And what would you be doing? I like to say to people, if I was a one wish teeny and I could blink my eyes today, and I dated myself at that one at night, I could blink myself, blink your wish today, is that everything that you want? Or do you want some more? Okay? And that's the third thing that you're gonna do. You know, look at those look at those circles. See if everything is there. And if anything is missing, I want you to just jot it down underneath. Are we done? I'll give you a little bit more time. Just jot it down. Make sure it's all there. So the last thing I want to do is have you walk away with not every wish sitting right awesome. So now you've got your wish. Now you've got the things that kind of stand out for you in this moment. I'll tell you a secret. This little list is going to get bigger. This little list may even get smaller. But what you have is a list of your wishes. And I want you to know there is no reason for you not to feel you can accomplish those wishes. No matter how wild they may feel, they're just wishes. But those wishes can be a reality. And we're going to talk about how to make that happen. So there's your wish. The visualization that I gave uh, my followers on my blog this week was the fountain with a coin visualization. And that's the one we're going to use here real quick this morning. I want you to take this wish that you created, and I want you to take that piece of paper and fold it up and hold it in your hand. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in. Think about this wish. Think about how these wishes can come to fruition for you. What did you wish for? Did you wish for a new home? Did you wish for a promotion? Or perhaps you wished for a new job altogether? Did you wish for relocation? Did you wish for a perfect mate? Whatever you wished for, was it a positive wish? Because that's what wishes should be, positive, powerful wishes. I want you to picture yourself next to a wonderful, beautiful, peaceful wishing well. And hold those wishes in your hand. In your visualization, those wishes are going to be a gold coin. And these are going to be the answers to this gold coin to all the wishes that you've just written down. This gold coin is going to bring you everything you asked for, everything you asked for. All you need to do is accept that it's going to come. Close your eyes in your visualization. Take a deep breath. Speak out the most important wish on the list, the wish that we're going to make happen today, the one that happens right now one that is most important to you. Speak it out loud. Speak it out loud. Now, take that gold coin and toss it into the well. As the gold coin drops into the well, release your breath in anticipation and joy and know that this wish that you just put out there is going to come true because you just wished for it. You've asked the divine for it and he's going to bring it to you because you deserve it. We're going to create this wish for you in abundance and joy and prosperity. What is a wish for you? What was the wish? Hold on to it through this whole day. You come back to me and open your eyes, and we're going to talk about this wish that we just wanted to make happen today. There's not a, a thing that you can't accomplish in this life if you put your focus on it. I have this thing that I talk to um, my clients about, and I call it a life millionaire. I'm like, what is a life millionaire? And a life millionaire is a person who achieves not just monetary wealth, but achieves the fulfillment across all areas of their life. The full organic life experience, as I like to call it. When your soul is alive and singing through life's joy, when your heart pulsates as you fulfill your life's destiny, when your life partner stands with you and completes you in every possible way, when the work you complete each day gives you a sense of complete satisfaction and enjoyment, when your life's legacy inspires and ignites those within your sphere of influence, this is a life, this is a life millionaire. Does that sound like something you want to live? Does that sound like a life you want to be surrounded by? A person whose life assets 
include the assessment of the value in body, mind, and spirit. Does that sound like something you'd like to do? I would like to see everyone in this world experience the life millionaire assessment. The first thing we have to do is we have to know what it is that we want to accomplish. Okay? So if you do, I'm going to put the number out there for people. If there are people out there that would like to call in, as we are, I am going to have people calling in today. For those of you who have um, received the phone number already, that is awesome. I'm having some problems with technology, so you'll have to excuse me for a moment. Um, so I'm going to wait for this, uh, this premium to upload. I apologize for that, and I'll give it out in a second. If you already have the phone number, please do call in, and I will uh, await uh, getting people getting people's calls. But in the meantime, I want to talk about uh, some phone calls that are coming up on Tuesday morning, starting this coming week. We're going to be doing a wish affirmation call. The phone number for both calls that I'm going to tell you about is 323. 920-0091, and the PIN for that is going to be 776-9471-POUND. Once again, 323-920-0091, and the PIN 776-9471-POUND. Tuesday mornings at 8.30 in the morning, that is, not at night, Tuesday at 8.30 a.m., we're going to be doing a wish affirmation call. For those who are interested, call in. It is a free call. You will call in, and we're going to go through a number of affirmations to help you get focused and support as you make your fulfillment, make the fulfillment of your wishes. On Friday mornings at 9.30, beginning next week, right after the show, we're going to be doing our Life Millionaire Club call. For those who want to step in and enjoy this process of becoming a Life Millionaire, we're going to be putting together a call and there are no limits to the call, and once again, this is a free phone call. So the number, once again, 323-920-0091, and the PIN, 776-941, wait, 776-9471-POUND, and that is going to be for both. Very good, very, very good. Okay, so back to what we were saying about the phone calls. Is there anybody out there that would like to call in? Here comes the phone number now. I'm going to give you the phone number here. So we're having some technical difficulties. I apologize for that. So we're going to go back to the topic, and hopefully the call number will come up again. So back to making our wishes happen. I had an email from one of my uh, listeners, and she asked me, I, well, thank you, Angel, for the radio broadcast. I have had some trouble focusing on making my wishes, as you call them, come true, because I feel like the people around me are distracting me from my wishes, and it almost feels like they don't want me to achieve them. Do you have any suggestions on how we can get past this when we're experiencing this? And she writes, thank you again, Sally. So thank you for the question, Sally, and that is a really good question. Because we do experience this a lot, and I call these people um, our life saboteurs, and there'll be the people that are closest to you. You'll be so surprised to find that when you're trying to create, whether it's wealth or, or joy or whatever it is that you're trying to create, and you make it happen in your life, the people closest to you will resist. There's nothing that doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that they don't like you. It doesn't mean that they are against you. Uh, there's usually one of two things it is. Number one, it's either going to be the resistance to change, because people become very comfortable with us being in the space that we're in, even if the space we're in is not exactly the best space for us. They're still comfortable with the space that we're in. The other thing it can possibly be is the challenge that the divine puts us through to basically test our resolve as we work to get our accomplishment. As they say, anything worth having, anything worth having is worth fighting for. So the more ambitious your dreams are, the more powerful your process is, 
the more incredible your goals are, you know, the more challenging it's going to be. So you have to be willing to fight your way through life's challenges. You have to be willing to fight your way through the, the, uh, the discomfort. You have to be able to go through the, the, the hurdles and the walls that are presented to you if you are interested in achieving your goal. That was a good question. Thank you very much for the question. All right, so I'm going to this other question. Perfect. Here's a question. This question comes from John. And John asks me, I'm having problems understanding what my dreams are. I feel like I'm distracted, and I feel like the negative things around me are keeping me from fulfilling my dreams or even knowing what my dreams are. I'm very frustrated. And I get frustrated even listening to this topic because it feels like it's easy for everybody and not easy for me. Any advice? Okay. That's a good question as well. Thank you, John. So when life, when you're in turmoil in your life, when you've got things going on in your life that you feel are distracting you and you feel are keeping you from accomplishing your goals, it can be very, very difficult to focus on what your dreams are. So it is important, very important, for you to take the time to sit down and focus on your on your goals and focus on those dreams. I can understand and I can emphasize uh, why you feel the way you feel. I think all of us at times feel just up, out and out frustration when we're going through any kind of, of problems or any kind of struggles and we're trying to focus on our dream. It's so, so easy to talk about what we're trying to do. It's not always easy to become what we want to become, if that makes sense. So just don't be discouraged. John, do not be discouraged. Just give yourself time. Give yourself those five minutes a day, then 10 minutes a day, then 15 minutes a day to sit down and go through whether it's a visualization, whether it's a grounding exercise, meditation, the tools that are out there to sit down and keep you focused on your dream. I invite you to join my calls on Fridays and Tuesdays so we can help you focus. I want you to be successful. Oh, we have a caller. Awesome, awesome. Here's the call-in number for everyone. The call-in number is 917-932-932. 1778. Once again, 917-932-1778. Awesome, okay. All right. Hi, how are Good you? Good morning. I'm fine. Good Who morning. am I speaking to? Sherelle. Good morning, Sherelle. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you? I'm doing excellent. Thank you for calling in. How can I You're tell welcome. you today? What kind of questions do you have today? Love and relationship. Okay. Talk to me about your relationship. I'm always wondering how does Sam name Sam feel about me? And what would I hear from him? Sam. What's the name? It was Sam. Sam. Yes. And what would I hear from him? But how does he? How does? Okay. Yeah. I don't. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yes, want to know argument. how you feel about you? Okay. Yeah, Let me take a look at that for you. Let me tell you, the first thing I can say is just take a deep breath. Because what I'm feeling is lots of anxiousness. And yeah. um, I want you to pull, <laughs> I want you to pull, and I, I get it, girl, I get it. <laughs> I want you to pull some of that anxiousness back because that anxiousness is kind of getting in the way. I feel like he can feel the anxiousness. And you want him to feel the warmth. Does that make sense? You want him to feel yes. the warmth and the potential and not the anxiousness because it feels like there's something in the past for him that is uncomfortable with the anxiousness. Does that make sense? Yeah. So not with you, with something else. So you want to okay. pull that anxiousness back. And it looks like he's also going through some difficult times with something that has nothing to do with you. And how he, something is happening in his life that has nothing to do with you but that he has to overcome. And it, it's something he doesn't want to talk to you about because he 
it still feels like he's really super private. It has nothing to do with you. He is, but it, he is private. And he's, he's very private, and, it, and, and mm -hmm. it feels like you are you are taking what he's going through and taking this anxiousness and kind of putting it all together and making it about this, this potential relationship um, energy, and it's not. Does that make sense? Yeah, he's going through some stuff. He's going through some stuff, and he's trying to fix it so that he could take his life in the next direction. You're being asked to have patience because there is I know. there is something there. There's something there, and he feels there's something there, but his his attention is not there right now. But it doesn't mean he doesn't oh. want it to be there. He's trying to fix something. Does that make sense? We yes. got somebody hollering in the background. Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, he's my nephew. No, he's okay. <laughs> So you've got two messages coming to you. Uh, one is be patient, very okay, patient. Like, <clears throat> okay. And then Archangel Michael is saying your relationship is safe. So it's safe. I'm feeling it's safe, meaning that there's nothing for you to be concerned about today. You need to pull back. Really? So you need to pull okay. back. Are we got to be real to pull back. I'm What's trying. That? It's, it's it's hard because we got into a real big argument last week. And he was telling me he was done with me and I'm too much stressed for him. And I was, you know, I kept apologizing from that day on today to them. I was apologizing. I don't mean no harm or, you know, I, I tend to say stuff I don't mean. Yeah. So yeah. I, and I, I don't know if you'll ever contact me. Well, I'm getting that it's safe and I'm getting that he needs time because he's trying to fix something. And it's, what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling is that it has, Whatever he's going through right now, mm -hmm. stressing him out, and he's trying to fix it, and then this 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 stuff is coming at him from you, and he's like, "Oh my God, is this too much?" And yeah, yeah, just, that's what, yeah, yeah. It's kind of overwhelming, and it's easy for him to step away, like I'm through with this, because that this between you and yeah. me, he can control what's going on over here. He cannot, right? So if you can yeah, pull back. Go ahead. But he's in a, I'm saying, but he's in a relationship also. Well, that might be what he's going through. That's probably what he's going through. But he's trying to resolve it. I, I keep getting that you're safe, but you need to be patient. You need to pull back okay. and be patient. If this is what you want, but you need to, you need to know that mm -hmm. your energy needs to pull back. I mean, you're being, you're being given clear, clear, clear. Um, clear message to pull back and pull let him back. deal with what he's dealing with. Just pull your energy back and let him deal. He's got to deal with this thing he's dealing with. you got to be patient let him fix what's going on. If and you're you going to continue. Go and ahead. You say he knows, and you say he knows something there? He does feel something there. He does know there's something there. And he feels something there. But he can't pay attention to it because he's too focused on this other situation. Okay. And it feels like this is something that's affecting kind of his life mission. Like it's, it's either work or some, there's something that's a long-term life process that he's working on right now that has him in, in very distracted that he needs to fix. Does that make sense? Okay. Yes. Okay. Now I've got and one, one question. I'm sorry. Make it quick. Go ahead. Now, when you say pull back, now do, how, how long do I supposed to pull back? Or should I just wait for him to contact me or... You need to be patient. You're going to get, I am, I'm not seeing the time frame because they don't want you to focus on that. But what I am yeah, doing okay. is that you need to focus on you right now. Okay. You will hear from him. Let me, let me see if I can get some time here for you. Okay. You will hear from Thank him. You. Give, it, give, it, give, it a, give it at least two months of first of focusing on yourself and remembering who you are, and you should hear from him within 30 days. You should hear from him within a month. But you need to pull back. You need to pull okay. back. Okay. Does that help? I know you're yes, frustrated. It does. I know you are frustrated. No, I'm, but you got it. Yeah, because our <laughs> argument and it kind of made me. I feel bad because of the argument we had. But I'm doing. I'm, yeah. I'm trying to work on my relationship with my. But I don't know. I guess me, me and my relationship not gonna work out because I'm too stuck on him. But I'm just going back though. Okay. We ain't okay. Gonna ever Every time I text him, I'm the text him, he just ignores me. He, he don't respond back. Like, I text him a day, he ignores me. So, and nothing I can do. They could, 
not today. Take a deep breath, focus on you, and it'll come back around to you. The, the more you put energy on it, the more you're going to push it away, and that's the, what you don't want, right? So yes. try to pull back and focus on you. No, you focus say pull on back. You. I got to meditate or just... Let, well, meditate, you know, I, I, I invite you to get on the call, you know, the free call to kind of help get you focus. It feels like there's things that you need to do for you that you're not able to focus on right now. Just sit yeah. back and focus on you. Okay, so thank you. Focus on you. Oh, does that help? I appreciate it. You're, for, you're, you're very, very welcome. Have thank a fabulous you. day. And may your you wishes too. come true and, and the little baby in the background <laughs> kisses, kisses. <laughs> oh, thank you. You're so sweet. You, Thank oh, you. Thank you. you. You have a fabulous day. Thank you so much for You're calling. You're cool, honey. You're welcome. Oh, bye-bye. No Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. What a pleasant call. It's awesome. It's the really, thank you again for calling in. It's a really great example of how sometimes we will focus on one thing over here and uh, other things are happening. There's a story from, um, that I remember I was told as a child that everybody tells this story and it's about um, the guy that's on the ocean, and he's stranded, and he's trying to get rescued, and he prays for God to rescue him. And a little boat comes by and says, here, I'm going to help you. And he says, no, 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 God's going to rescue me. And he leaves, and the ship comes by, and he says, here, I'm going to help you. And he says, no, God is going to rescue me, and it leaves, and the helicopter comes, and I'm like, here, we're going to help you. And he says, no, 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 God's going to help me, and it leaves. And then he dies. He goes to heaven. And he goes to God and he says, oh my God, I, I prayed and you were supposed to help me. He says, I don't know what you want from me. I send you a boat, I send you a ship, and I send you a helicopter. We sometimes miss the answers to our, to our prayers, to our dreams, because we're so focused on either A, trying to manifest the dream, or B, on the things that are trying to distract us. So as frustrating as it can be, sometimes we got to focus so that we can get our dreams happening just walk the walk as if our dreams are happening today and just know that it's going to come. And eventually you're going to look up and it's going to be there. I'm going to leave you with a quote today. I thank you so much for joining me. Many blessings and many joy with you. I have a fabulous quote, quote that I found today, or actually it was yesterday, and that quote is this. Either spend your life reading good books or spend your life doing things worth writing about. And that's a quote from who? My email is angel.thacker at comcast.net. That is angel.thacker at comcast.net. The first person to email me, person to email me with an answer to who that quote came from will receive a free email reading of two questions from me. So once again, info.dapper at comcast.net. I will be here next week. I will be sending out the topic of next week's broadcast uh, later on in the week. I'll be here Tuesday morning. Give me a call for the wish affirmation uh, call. And on Friday after the show, starting next week, we're going to have our Life's Millionaire call, the Life's Millionaire Club, our first call, on uh, Friday morning at 9.30 for the wish affirmation, Tuesday mornings at 8.30. The Life Millionaire Club, Friday mornings at 9.30. That phone number is 323-920-0091. 776-9471 pound is the pin. Come find me on igniteandevolvedcoaching.com. And I will see you on the other side as you ignite your life. God bless you.